What's up guys, this is Caitlin from Caitlin Says and I'm going to do my review of Legend of Korra's yesterday. Um, it was entitled The Sting and it starts off where Asami's tanks that she's sending to the southern tribe are getting attacked and captured and she's losing tons of money of course because her sales are not going through and all this stuff. So they set up this whole sting behind Beifong's back which I think is pretty crazy because Beifong is pretty scary, you know, so for me, I wouldn't do that. Um, but so they set up this sting and they enlist the, tr the triple threats, let's say the triads, but I don't know if that's the same thing, but the triple threats into helping out because they need extra muscle because they can't get the cops behind them and it just all goes bad. Um, all this stuff goes on. The triple threats were approached by some other dude to what's it called, to double cross them, and so that operation pretty much goes bad, but what Mako finds out, as he tried to show Beifong before, when he interrupted some interrogation, like question things she was doing, as it turns out, that device, that, that little, that um, remote device for detonation stuff, was actually um, Varix design, and it's exclusive to Varix company. So it's pretty much him that was behind the capital explosion. It's him that's behind the ships being taken over and her losing money because at the end of the episode, Varric buys a controlling interest. And for those of you who are watching this, I don't know what a controlling interest is. And I'm a little lazy to look it up. So totally let me know in the comments. I would totally appreciate it. Yeah, so he buys a controlling interest, which I assume has a lot of control. Durr. But, so he buys it. So apparently, the guy we thought was totally fine is probably more than, ba more than bad news. So it's, it's really sad because he seemed like such a good dude. Mako can undercover, uncover the truth because he was about to tell Asami. Like, he literally walked into the office and he was all like, Asami, I know who set us up, all this stuff. And he's right there, very sitting right there in the chair. Oh, oh, oh. I, I liked this episode. And I didn't. It was good. I loved the action scene. I always love the action scenes. Even when Eska and Desna were fighting Korra, the way the scene went, like all the fighting, all the shh, 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 shh. I loved it. It was so good. I don't know. Korra was absent for pretty much the whole episode. So we won't really know what went on with it. It was just pretty much all about Mako and Asami. Which, by the way, Asami kissed me. Talk about that in a second. But yeah, so Korra, she pops up on this island at the very, very end, and it reminds me where it was the temple, the temple guard, I, don't, I forget what they were called, but they were an avatar before. Um, they guard the fire temple and other things, they approach her and they're like, oh, we're, it's okay, Avatar Korra, we're here to help you, and she's all like, who's Avatar Korra? I don't know, I don't remember anything, so I was like, oh no, no, all that training, but I'm sure she'll remember it, you know, that would kind of suck if she had to learn everything all over. Oh, I'm gonna end this with talking about Mako and Asami, the kiss. In a way, they seem perfect for each other, in a way they do, in a way they don't though. Opposites don't always attract, I was talking to my friend about that, um, but opposites don't always attract, attract. Um, but sometimes they do, you know, but for Mako and Asami, they're so master each other, so in a way it's hard not to ship them, but then it's like, girl, you just broke up, like, don't just kiss them, but she was going on instinct, I don't think she's, like, wrong, well, not wrong, because he's single, so, she always doing what her heart wants, you know, we'll see what happens with that, maybe they end up back together, but anyway, so I will see you guys, hopefully sometime this week, I plan on doing another video besides Legend of Korra. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!